Hey guys, and welcome to our, I think we're on week 19, when you miss a week, I guess you kind of forget. Well, if week 19 is not right, I'll, it'll be in the description. Hi, Vaughn. Hi, let me turn off the air conditioner so it's not so loud. Okay. AC's on. It's warm. Anyways, um, so I apologize for not making a video last week. Um, my first nephew was born Tuesday the 5th, which was not this past Tuesday, but the one before that. Um, and then Friday, uh, Saturday night, he went into the hospital because he stopped breathing. So I was at the hospital until really early in the morning. So come Sunday, it was just, it was just, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I apologize. I'm still here. Whatever. But I, yeah, it was just, uh. <sighs> he's good, by the way. I probably should mention he's fine. Uh, he went home on Tuesday, so he's good. Um, it was just a little bit on the crazy side. So anyways, so last time I talked to you guys, we were doing that carbonite solutions, which we are still doing kind of, um, we're doing every Sunday instead of every, it's supposed to be every five days and then the sixth day you carb load and then five days we're doing six days and then seventh day carb load and so on and so forth. Um, trying to plan it you know, one day on a Thursday, one day on a Tuesday, one day on a this day. It's just not, um, it's not feasible for us. So Sunday is the day that we do it. Um, and today's Sunday. So anytime you guys see me, we're in a carb loading day, um, which would be today. So, um, I really, I'm really enjoying this carbonate solutions. Did you guys go? I did. Sorry, they take something to the mailbox for me. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I don't know about them too, but I'm very much enjoying it. Um, it feels like a much needed break. Um, and I don't feel in those six days, I don't feel the need to cheat because I know in a couple days I can eat something that I like. Um, the weight is slower coming off. But honestly, towards the end of just doing the carbs, we were only losing a pound or less every time. So staying in that carb loss every week. I'm okay with that because I'm still losing the same amount I was and I get a day of respite where I can just kind of eat things that I like. So I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of negative on that and I've already gotten a couple on some of the other videos there, you know, where people are like, oh, you should only, you know, I'm not. it is what it is. Like I said, this is our journey. This is the way we're experimenting. And you know, when it's in a couple weeks, it's still not working out. Maybe we'll switch. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Chris, are you staring at me? Sorry. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the future holds. I just know that this is a journey that we're on and it's going to change here and there and things are going to, um, differ and go from this way to this way. And we're going to take different paths and this is just the path we're on now. And as long as we're staying in the losing weight mentality, there really should be no negativity. It is what it is. So anybody want to comment on that? Uh, My hair's purple. Yeah. Chris's hair is purple. Anybody else want to comment on <laughs> the topic at hand? Uh, carbonite solutions. Yeah, I, I agree with the whole situation about, you know, we get to have something we like. I mean, maybe next week I want a bunch of chips. Actually, I want a bunch of chips now, but let's not get into that. Um, he wants a bunch of chips. I don't know if like you heard him. a whole him. bag of whole ranch bag. Doritos. We can but, go to the store and get you some Doritos if you want some Doritos. I thought we were going to have pizza for lunch, but we never did. Why would we have pizza for lunch in Stromboli for dinner? That doesn't make any sense. We had planned to have pizza for lunch. No, we didn't. That was last week. Yeah, we had pizza for lunch last week. Anyway, so... Yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, like I said, if you guys have any negativity, I really would appreciate you just not even bothering. And I totally understand people that have like the constructive criticism and I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to caloric intake and things like that. Um, we're still not super strict on my calorie intake. Um, I have reduced our cheese consumption down quite a bit. Um, cause I know that was kind of hindering us a little bit. I, th I think it was, but so I've reduced that down a little bit, but it's most of what we eat is not I mean, it's got calories, obviously, especially like the meat, but I mean, we're not going overboard on low carb, high calorie things. Um, I don't, I don't monitor. I don't have a number for you. I, I don't monitor that. So, um, 
Um, I'm getting I'm getting a couple requests for some some more um, cooking vlogs. Unfortunately, my camera has disappeared, and I couldn't tell you where it went. And we've searched the entire house looking for it, so I can't make any cooking vlogs until I get um, a new camera, which I don't know when that will be. So these are the kind of vlogs that you're going to see from me because I don't have a camera to give you any more. But just as a side note, for those of you that want to know how I make my ranch dressing, I buy the packet of the you know little box of butter, Hidden Valley Buttermilk Ranch. It's with buttermilk and mayonnaise, and then the packet, and and that's it. And I just follow the exact directions. So that's how I make my ranch. It's like point. It's like half a car, or it's like point four carbs per tablespoon. So you can pretty much use as much as you want. And then with my pork steaks, because I get that question a lot, how do I make those? I take those. I sear them on the griddle with butter and Frank's Red Hot Sauce or barbecue sauce, if that's what we're having with. Uh, we have sugar-free barbecue sauce. Um, I sear it on both sides just to get it kind of brown on both sides. And then I put it on a cookie sheet with more Frank's Red Hots or barbecue and then put mozzarella cheese slices on top. And then I throw it in the oven until the cheese is completely melted and started and golden brown. So and we like ours just a smidgen on the pink side, not like pink, pink, but just I don't like leather. I don't eat leather. So if you guys like yours cooked a little bit more, um, leave it in for a little bit longer. Have a heat thermometer thing on bobber or, or whatever the case may be. That's just the way I do it. Oh, 375 takes about 15 to 20 minutes somewhere in there. Okay. So moving on, let me get to the results, which is the reason you guys come see me by the way. Thank you to all the new subscribers. This channel is growing really fast and it's very surprising to me, but I love it and I love you guys. And yeah, Chris, last time we weighed in that you guys saw was 207.4, Now he, uh, which he had gained a pound. Now he's at 206.4, so he's back to where he was, but he's lost a pound. So he has lost 32.8 pounds in the last 19 weeks. Yay, Chris. Hooray. Vaughn went from 230.2 last time you saw him to 229.4, which is a loss of 0.8 pounds, which is a total loss of 26.6 pounds, which now means he is now surpassed 10% of his body weight from start. So, yay! Woo-hoo! Yay. Woo! -hoo. Woo. Um, I'm a rock star. <laughs> last time I was 344. This time I'm 342.9, which is a loss of 1.1 pounds, which is a total loss of 31.1 pounds. So close to my 10%. So close. I'm guessing another three or four weeks and I'll be there. But anyways, so that's where I'm at. Yay! yay. Woo. So, that's where we're at. This is, video is a lot longer than normal. I apologize, but this is, you know, this is what we do. So, anybody else got anything? Comic-Con. I was just going to say, we went to Comic-Con yesterday and walked like a million miles, which was really fun. 2.45. 2.45 miles to be exact. So, that was really, that was, that was a lot of fun. And then, of course, I was all dressed up, which you guys saw a couple weeks ago when I did that face painting thing. Um, so, I was hot, very hot with makeup and a big dress on, but it was really fun. Um, we got stopped like a hundred times because people wanted to take our picture, take my picture, take their picture too. It was really, it was really fun. If you guys follow Doctor Who at all, I went as the Weeping Angel, Bond went as the Silence, and Chris went as the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith. So. Senor Matt Smith. Yes. He wore a fez. Fez is cool. So anyways, that's yeah, all. Bow -tie. Bow -tie cool. Yes, he wears bow ties. Bow -tie. Oh my God. Ah. Anyways, okay, so that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them below. I will try to answer them as best I can. Um, I think that's all I got for you. I'm going to stop telling you that I want to make other videos. I do still want to. I just don't have the time at the moment, but eventually I will get to it. Oh, look, Chris pulled out his sonic screwdriver. I heard that. Oh, I heard your sonic screwdriver. See? Okay. Anyways, um, that's it. That's all I got. Now that we've hit 10 minutes, um, I love you guys. Love, peace, and make and grease. Bye. Bye.